Good morning. Hope you're doing well. It is Wednesday morning. Time for our sales tip of the week. And I wanted to get it to you uh, this morning real quick. Um, something that you've heard me say over and over. You've heard Justin say it. You've heard probably managers say this, that sales is the transference of emotion. Um, now, the key to that is to be emotional about what we do and to, you know, have your customer respond in an emotional way. People make decisions based on emotion, not necessarily based on ideas or what they think. You know, the product that we sell and the services we provide is something that everyone definitely, without a doubt, will need at some point in their life. It's final expense. They're going to have their final day. They're going to meet, make it to their final resting place. People are going to pass. And so there, it's not a, a question or not whether it's needed. Um, everyone that we speak with on a day-to-day -day basis have expressed some sort of interest. So they know this is something that they need, but people don't make decisions based on need. People make decisions based on emotion. And so how do you transfer emotion to someone? How do you, how do you get someone to become emotional about what we sell and what we do so that they can make a decision based on that emotion. Well, number one, you've got to be emotional. You've got to be passionate. You've got to, you know, be someone that can, you know, present the product in a way to hold a conversation in a way that, that, that you trigger those emotions. You tell a story in such a way that it triggers those emotions in the customer and it gets them thinking on at an emotional level so that they can make a decision based on that emotion. Now, there's a few keys and there's something you've heard me say over and over. And I want you to understand something. If you hear me say the same thing every week in, in each of these little videos, it's because repetition is how we learn. You know, you sometimes you have to hear something every day for a year before it really clicks and the light bulb really comes on. And so one of those things that you hear me repeat over and over and over is why? What is your why? Why do you do what you do every day? Do you just wake up in the morning so excited? I get to call 20 people today and try to sell them life insurance. You know, most people don't. But if there's a goal at the end of it, if there's a prize that has been defined, you heard me say this a few weeks ago, you got to define the prize. Why do you do what we do? Because see, that's where the passion comes. That's where the emotion comes. You can get passionate and emotional about the why. You know, I just spent an entire week with my family on vacation at the beach. And, you know, I started thinking, man, if I could just do this every week, it would be great. I'd love to have my own place on the beach where I can drive down and, or fly down or, or whatever and spend so much more time. And I began to think on that and meditate on it. And I began to say to myself, well, why not? Why can't I have it? You know, and why not let that be part of my vision for the future? Something that I want to have and a reason for what I do, that can be part of my why. So as you imagine the world that you want to create and the, and the world that, that sales will, will afford you and the life that, that, you, know, that you design um, and, and the, the things that can be purchased with the money you make from this career, you get passionate about that, passionate about better schools or a better house or living in a better neighborhood or driving a nicer car or being financially free. All of those things can trigger emotion inside of you and cause you to be passionate. But it's something that you got to keep in front of you every single day. And you've got to remind yourself every single day. I'm going to talk to you on, a, on a, one of these videos about setting a goal and writing it down on a card and reading that card every morning uh, when you wake up and every morning before you make your first sales call and maybe during lunch and maybe in the evening to keep that vision and that, that goal in front of you so that you can stay passionate about what you do because that passion and that emotion that will transfer over to that customer. And when you're explaining this product in such a way, you will be engaged and that customer will be engaged. See, if you're just going through the motions, you're just making the call and you talk with a monotone voice and you're not really plugged in and you're not really engaged and you're not really interested, you're just going through the motions, trying to get to that number 20 call so you can call it a week, the customer recognizes that. And the moment that you disengage, they disengage. The moment you engage, they engage. When you become emotional about this, they will become emotional about this. And they make decisions based on emotions. Thank you.